So, welcome everyone. In this session, uh, we will be uh, learning IT customization in Team Center. Our goal is to understand how to extend and automate Team Center function using C and IT KPIs. The training is uh, structured step by step. Uh, this is all my step. Uh, starting from basic, moving into utilities and precondition post action workflow handlers. Okay. So, basic C language. Uh, before dividing into ITK, we need C language fundamentals. Uh, basic basic ITK APIs are writing in C. We'll revise data type, condition, loop, uh, function. Those are building block that help us with uh, writing ITK codes for Team Center. Okay. And then we shift to batch utility. So in batch utility, uh, those uh, those are common script to automate uh, repetitive uh, work in Team Center. Uh, explain each will real life use case. Uh, this item create item. Uh, this uh, two type of item create item. Mm, we can create item using ITK. Uh, for example, an item with ID item ID and revision. Data set import export owner change. Uh, custom criteria find queries print bomb and plus more uh, more more means uh, i have so many questions like uh, in this course we discuss about 12 uh, 10 to 12 questions okay and then shift to precondition in precondition a rule that must be satisfied before a action uh, and an action is all allowed think of them validation uh, yeah yeah so check check item division uh, those are all questions okay but uh, it is all are integrated some questions okay uh, so check item revision release or not check item revision has UG master UG part and all all that check release status check data set data and, and so many questions are there okay and then shift to post action okay. and post action uh, happen after an event uh, for example after creating or modifying uh, an object we want to uh, perform some extra logic automation automatically uh, perform some action okay? uh, post action uh, for filling necessary for attribute UG master UG part while creating UG part with relation called as I mean requirement is relation change attribute value uh, on item division master change item name based on item division name change uh, and and plus more and then we go to workflow handlers so this is very important workflow handlers uh, we discuss about action handler and and rule handler so um, so um, we discuss about like uh, in action handler we discuss about two to three questions and rule handler same as it is two to three questions right. uh, in total it, it take time 22 to 22 uh, 20 to 22 hours 20 uh, if, if you take more time then uh, okay, no, no, if, if take more time, then okay. Uh, and then, mm, okay, let's let's uh, take a demo. And I always say that this is not a uh, PDF session. This is not a document session. I share all the documents. This is my IT cl ITK class document. All the IT class documents. But uh, this is not a PDF class. This is not a document class. I show you all the uh, live uh, coding, live uh, customization, live development. Uh, mm, and uh, I share all the code and all the details also. Okay. So for an example, uh, uh, let's take an example of uh, just using uh, this is my uh, object uh, find object according criteria. Okay. This is very small coding, very small coding according to compare to uh, those all all are. This is batch utility. Okay and uh, after batch after batch utility complete complete then we shift to precondition then post action and then workflow okay so it is precondition and uh, my question was find object using criteria so i find all the object item type of object so i pass the item type of object all the object okay if i have car type business object so class name is car type then i find car type of all the business object okay so if i uh, uh, give you how is it work so this is WSMO search criteria. This is a uh, uh, this 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 is a uh, unique identifier. Okay, this is for criteria and tag. This is also a unique identifier. Okay, 
so it's a fine user to this api is find the user mainly current user okay and then uh, ws no clear search criteria this is uh, search the criteria right create the criteria is, uh, i find at the time criteria class name uh, criteria dot class name you can uh, customize your name also you can give your dot and uh, and according to your need the description group modifier after name owner and all that okay at that time i need class name okay class name was my item and star means all okay and then then wsmo search and i get the count number and i i treat all the count number and get my ids okay i clean all the ids in uh, tau window okay so let's save the uh, uh, let's set the my code and uh, i show you my header file also this is my header file i call the function criteria and then this is my login file i explain all the things all the line by line coding in this course but uh, this is a demo demo course and uh, this is demo demo that's why i cannot show you uh, how is it work and all that this is login this is my login code user password and group okay so just save the program and uh, uh, build the solution first of all clean the solution and then rebuild the solution and and then start the after after completely rebuild and then start the debugging okay so it will give me all the object uh, all the all the object which is created by item This is tau window and th this is all my batch utility questions uh, we are discuss all the questions um, 10 to 12 questions and i share also all the questions also uh, questions on programming also uh, first of all it is uh, give the login message uh, so if is it user password and group is invalid then please give the error and then if is it if is it uh, okay then login successful and call my function find object according to criteria okay so the call the function first of all if is it if it is right then first of all bring the login successfully and then bring my id's number okay. item id ask id to this is this api ask the id and print the id okay. so wait for a minute uh, this take time for a team center login yeah. Yeah. So first of all, it is print welcome to BMLite project environment precondition. So um, I I I have um, precondition environment. That's why it is print welcome to BMW project environment. This is not batch utility environment. Uh, this is precondition environment. Okay. It is uh, I set the environment in my laptop. That's why it is print. So yeah, this is get the message login successful and this uh, this program find twelve object same as it is if you go team center and then uh, search the, uh, the create the criteria item dot star and give the same number of item total number of item and this is my id number item id number okay. so yeah that's it so if i go back to my it customization so in, uh, so in summary we start with basic basic learn batch utility for automation apply pre and post condition for validation and accents and finally extend workflow using handlers this uh, complete roadmap uh, take around 20 to 20 22 22 hours uh, i already said that uh, give you a solid fundamental of <laughs> uh, <laughs> to customize theme center with id uh, actually my suggestion was uh, well explain always mix concept plus real example plus analogy uh, that why even a fresh learner will understand how itk fits into daily team center work so that's it 
and uh, i always say this is not a pdf session this is live uh, customization customization course okay so thank you uh,